Okay, YouTube Nation, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing how to run the gun type formation from the Alabama playbook. And today our, what we're going to be going over is a quick way to, to just run out of this formation. You don't need any other plays. Uh, they're all found in the gun type. This is kind of what I'm leaning towards is one of the best base formations in the game this year. Now, our base play from this is going to be either the Frisco, excuse me, or the Z spot. Both of these plays uh, can be used differently. I like to use the Frisco more, but the Z-Spot has a nice, a couple of nice options as well. But the Frisco, in my opinion, is better against man coverage. Okay, we're going to come out in the nickel normal man coverage, two men under here. And what we're going to show you is out of the Frisco, what, we like to do, what I like to do is I like to take the left side receiver and put him on a uh, either a, a streak or a curl uh, to, to beat, to beat um, out of the zone. And then on the back side, I like to put my running back on a streak. And I like to leave everything else as is. My first read on this play, as you're going to see here, is going to be the uh, fade route to Smith on the left side here. And I'm just going to snap the ball. And you're going to see he get, he's, he's unbumpable on both sides of the field, PlayStation and Xbox. Stock fades are unbumpable, especially at least in NCAA 14. I, have no, I don't know about Madden 25 yet. We don't have the demo. So stock fade, left side, unbumpable. We're going to have that uh, as a man read. So... We're looking right at that. It's not the ball. We see that it's open, and we got an inside pass lead that, and we're going to click on and try to make a play. Now that time he defended it very well. You're going to see that some this year. It's a little the defense is a little more improved as far as do they defend the fades uh, a little better, but it's still open. You just have to uh, use the proper pass lead and uh, make sure your user catching that. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you one more time here. Stamp the ball. I see it's man coverage. I pass it to the inside, and uh, again he defended that, huh? pretty good. Matthew Nunez, guys, get him in your fantasy leagues. No, uh, it, it is almost 100% against man. I don't know why he's playing it so well. I think it, ha it might have something to do with us being on the one-yard line. But, uh, I don't know. So, anyways, here's our next play, our next man beater. Our, our next play we can use is the Z spot, and I don't make any adjustments to this play at all. What I will do, though, is I just block the line to a side, so slide line left, slide line right, somewhere like that. And the first read on this play is going to be triangle. And if we see it's man coverage, we can pass. Um, we can throw the ball as soon as he cuts to the inside. So it's a little, it's a little bit harder to show it with two controllers. But let me get a first down first, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna blitz everybody. Leave the flats open. circle on a flat route. And I'm just going to go right to the first down marker and just run out of bounds. Just to, just, this is kind of how I use the demo to lab. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying to improve my audio settings. Uh, I have some stuff in the works as far as upgrading my my software and my hardware. So hopefully you guys have been noticing that my videos, have, I think my videos have been a little more higher quality lately. Anywho, let me show you the Z-Spot. Uh, Z-Spot, the man beater. Out of this, and this is um, a little bit different way to run the Z spot than what most people's going to be doing. What we're going to do is when triangle is the route here. So let me just show you. I'm going to put Smith on a flat just for the purpose of showing this route. You see when he cuts up field, so he's going to slant and then he's going to cut up. We're going to throw right as he's cutting up. We're going to try and hit him with an inside pass right there, and you see that back shoulder type of animation. I found this out in Madden 13 about this, these little C routes. Is essentially you can throw them like their back shoulder fades. Now you can throw it like that. Uh, that's perfectly fine. That's something I normally will do just because I love that animation. And I like to be cute like that. But uh, if you want the best, most effective way to run this play or that route, it's unbumpable on both sides of the field, everywhere you want. And you're going to see when he cuts to the outside, he is just going to roast his man. You're just going to get underneath that and it's just going to be a nice little catch. So you can do that if you want. As far as other reads on the Z-Spot, if you want to, what you can do is... Like I said, I don't really adjust anything. So, what I would normally do in a situation like this, if I was actually running this play, is I would read the uh, square receiver first again. And what he, what he is, is he's unbobbable. And you see, he's going to have that nice little cut to the outside against man coverage. So we have that against man coverage. That's a quick read. My next read is, if they make some kind of adjustment, then I go right into my uh, C spot route. 
and you'll see here against the cover three zone, uh, and, and it also beats man. Remember, we just showed you the Z spot will beat man. The Z, uh, the uh, or not the Z spot, right? The C route. And then here against zone, you're going to see the C route is going to beat it again because it's going to essentially split the, the flat and the deep blue zone. And you see the zig is going to hold that flat zone down. So we're beating man and zone with two routes on the left side of the field. And then uh, if they make a bunch of adjustments on the right or the left side of the field, we're going to go to the back to the right. And on the right side of the field, what I'll do is my third read of, as I'm progressing will be the, the, the spot route here. And you see, or not the spot, but the corner route. You see the corner route doesn't get pressed. And you can get that nice catch animation on the back side there. And then um, what I'll do is I'll prog progress. The running back really isn't really a read on this play. It's more or less just a route to hold hold flats and yellows down, or hold flats and purples down. And use it, it, we use it as spacing. We don't really throw the ball to him. And then the last read on this play is the spot route. You can see I'm going to pass it to the right um, for it to be zone and man. That time will zone. Let me show you against man here real quick, and then we're going to get into another play. But this this Z spot is a very powerful play. I like I like to use the Z spot when they're trying to run more coverage D. It's not my main play from this uh, gun tight. It's like a mix in, but you know, nice little change up of routes here. So you see here against man coverage, the Z spot's going to get uh, uh, pressed, and you see he's going to get underneath that. And the main issue that that presents is. Z spot that spot route will not be two man under press. Uh, he has to be unbumped. He has to get he, if he gets pressed, you might as well not throw that route against man. Um, but if he doesn't get pressed against man, he will be open. So just kind of pick your poison with that. But um, let me just punt the ball back to myself here. I do want to show you this one play though. Uh, like I said, from Frisco. We didn't get to break that down, so we're going to finish breaking down Frisco in a sec next, and then we'll go to Z-Spot. So, um, and of course, I, that's a horrible punt. Sorry about that, guys. So, anyways, the Frisco, uh, we're building upon what we're taking from the Z-Spot. Okay, on the Z-Spot, we're attacking the outside of the field, and on the Frisco, you're going to see here, we're going to attack the middle. Okay, so it's just kind of using these routes as one another. Now, remember the first read on the Frisco is the fade. And you see here, pass to the inside, and now we finally get that catch animation. That's what we want to get. You want to click on it, you want to go in and make that catch. Okay, so now that we see the potential on the left side of the field to beat me in coverage, let's talk about um, if they run like a zone or something to try to get in the way of the fade. Well, it's a very good option. A lot of people will do that. But one thing that they did not take away from last year is the inside pass lead streaks against the zone. The reason they did not take that away is because you can't really take that away. Uh, that's always going to be there. The streaks are always going to be zone. They're always going to get underneath. The, the way the game uh, is made, that's how it's going to work. Because of the other routes we have on this play, that's what's going to allow it to work. Because we have a drag route, and it's going to suck down any yellow zones. Let's see. So what we're going to be able to do with this is with the pass lead uh, to the inside, we're just going to be able to hit the seams if they're in some kind of zone. And I think you even saw there, we could have thrown the fade as he got underneath the zone as well. So, too nice to double read against zone if they are in zone. Now, say they are using the left side of the field, which at this point, guys, a lot of people will begin to do this. How about the right side of the field against man? Well, against man, it's not as good um, as far as it's not as effective, but we do have some nice reads. So, once we read the left side taken away, we're going to quickly progress uh, to our dump down track, and I'll just pass through that down. And just take that, eat that five yards, and then maybe get like a broken tackle. Whoa, that guy went ham. And then um, the other thing I want to show you here is the, the nice little running back streak route. And the running back streak route is mainly a zone. It's mainly for zone. Uh, it won't beat man this year. It, I mean, you'll have to do some finagling and learn how to pass lead properly. So that's why I don't use it to beat. That's why I don't say it beats man anymore. So against zone, you see right in that little region, you see how it kind of gets in there and gets in that nice little tender spot of the field against the zone. Okay, now we're going to punt the ball back to ourselves, guys, and then we'll show you the next route. I don't know what I just did. Try this. Oh, man, it didn't count. But, um, 
the key to this offense is mixing in these uh, two earlier plays that I'm showing you here. And then we're going to use the next play, the, the next play, the last play I'm going to break down. That's the main play from this scheme. That's probably the base play. But it's not, you don't want to run it too much. If you run it too much, they can catch on to it. And then with the, the right adjustments, they may be able to lock it up. But the key to this offense is taking, uh, taking the time to run your halfback draw and also taking the time to come out and Z-spot in Frisco and use those plays as a nice advantage to your scheme. So here I'm just going to punt the ball back to myself, and then we're going to get into the last route that I wanted to talk about on the gun tight, um, the gun tight Frisco play. And guys, like I said, I think Alabama's playbook is probably the best playbook in terms of if you're running an offense similar to what you ran last year in Madden 13, uh, because it's not it's not really gimmicky, but it has some really good routes uh, that you can use basically the same way you used last year. If you guys want an offense more related to, um, you know, kind of using the read option and stuff like that, check out our read option, or not a read option, but our Oregon, Oregon Ducks full scheme we just posted. Uh, we'll have a link in the annotation for you. So anyways, against zone coverage, you see this route to circle. Against zone, or actually this is man, you see you can hit him with a passing down against man. So you know you have that. And then the next thing you can do is if they're in a zone, uh, it's not as good against a zone, I'll say that, because the zone can hop in front of it. But the key is just kind of recognizing when it's open when it's not. If it's not open, what you're going to do is you're going to transition back to your drag and try to play make or something. But if it's a zone here, you see it gets in a tender spot, and the flats don't really get out there because of the running back streak. It kind of holds the, holds the flats from going down there. So that covers the Frisco from the gun type. And now we're going to talk about the play action slot post. This is actually your quick or your deep pass audible out of this formation. So we're going to go to our deep pass audible. This is the play action slot post. And what we're going to do from this to set this play up is we're going to put our running back on a streak. We're going to put our left side receiver on a drag. And we're going to use a really uh, an old Madden 13 tactic. We're going to motion our receiver three steps to the left. You're going to see he gets a nice little speed burst off the line here. And it's going to be a nice man beater to have real quick. So we know that we have that man beater already before we even do anything. It's not even really a read. It's just kind of a quick check to see if they're in, if they're in man. If they're in man, that route will beat it 100% of the time. Your next read on this play is going to be triangles route to the outside. Now, what you want to do when you pass lead this route is you want to throw it with a pass lead down into the outside. And then you want to click on and you have to make a user catch because if you don't, that right there is going to happen. 100% of the time they'll pick that. Uh, that route is not really a man beater. It's not designed to beat man. It's mainly a zone read. But I'm just trying to show you guys these routes if you want to if you want to use them to beat man. You're going to have to click on and make a user catch. Um, otherwise, you're going to get an interceptor. And so let me punt the ball back to myself here. So how you guys been enjoying the demo? Uh, let me know if you guys have anything that you guys had have had problems with vast virus database Please has been updated. my computer but um, let me know if you guys have any questions as far as the demo goes if any anything that you kind of found fishy or whatever stop it oh, there you go. but um so getting into this gun tight uh, play action or not play action but slot post play essentially this is the same exact play from last year uh, out of Arizona's playbook the um, Arizona post or Zona post or something like that and the key to this route or this whole play is the ability to have those two routes on the right to complement our two routes on the left here so let me show you that route again to Thomas if you use your catch this is what it's going to look like and you see it's just it's not a very viable option it's very difficult to throw that route against man you want to primarily throw that against zone and I'll break that down in a second but the next read on this play is going to be your your post route and the post route is very effective against man coverage this year and it was it was actually really effective last year against man it's just people didn't take the time to kind of really incorporate it into their scheme at least from from my point point of view because they were it was a little bit longer developing last year this year it's actually pretty quickly developing route and uh, can be used against man as well so anyways in the play actions or in the uh, slot post play from the Alabama uh, type formation uh, you're going to see you see that slot post route and against man coverage it's absolutely going to torch it 
And we'll show you why you put the running back on a streak after we throw this post route to show you. But against man, you're going to see, passing down into the inside, you don't even have to click on. He's already going to automatically get underneath man coverage. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to show you, your next read on this play is going to be your running back on a streak. And the streaks this year work like eight, like um, the Philly wide seam route uh, from last year out of the Philly playbook. And what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of dip it into him. Uh, I like to pass you to the right. If there's somebody there, like if there's a dude glued to him, do not throw that route. It will get picked. But if there's nobody there, I'll always just check down to that. It's just a nice little quick option. But the main, we'll show you the main reason we use that route is for zone. And then lastly, I want to show you our last check down read. I don't know why I was hitting circles for no reason. But uh, our last check down read here is to circle. And uh, circle is going to beat man coverage in a couple of different ways. You see it's unbumpable. And we're gonna, just going to pass through that to the inside. That time our, our pass got deflected. But hopefully you guys are able to see how the route works against man. Let's go into zone here and try to show you guys how we can use the route combinations in this play to clear out space against the zone coverage. Now we know the drag is going to beat zone. Um, we already know that from last year. So drags will beat zone again this year. Three-step motion snap. And you guys are going to see we're going to have that kind of dipping underneath there. And lovely yards after catch there by David Smith. Uh, anywho, moving on to the next read. The next read, if you guys remember from the first part of the play breakdown, is triangle, and this is where triangle's route's really going to come in handy. The jag route's going to hold the flat zone just long enough, and you see how triangle just splits the safeties there. And uh, that was poor stick by me, my first first video of the day. But um, you see how he he's going he's just going to really beat the zone. You saw where I threw that. And you just want to work on user catching that. And then the next read on this play was our post route. And the lovely part about this is your post or the drag route is going to hold down the yellows for the post route to kind of fun funnel in behind them. So here with a pass lead up, you see it's going to split the zone, the two interior yellows, and the triangle is holding the deep blue. So that's it makes that a viable read against zone. And then your last or your next read against um, zone coverage. And I love I love the fact that these are in the same progression and it makes this, this play really powerful. Is the R1 uh, running back here on a streak, and the post is going to take the yellow zones with him. And so what it's going to do is essentially clear out that little you see right there, clear out that position so that we can throw the quick running back streak. And as far as the other route, let me just try to show you real quick. safety and we'll pump the ball but uh, uh that other route that that circle route it does beat zone as well it serves as a, a couple of tools it holds the flat route so it clears the space out for the running back to run on that streak and it also will uh, be a nice option a nice quick pass option or not quick pass but quick quick read against zone if you want to look at it at the snap it's really not a bad read at all so we'll show you that this drive and then we'll get out of here for today So, uh, gun tight here, play action, or not play action, but slot post play, and just make a normal cover for you. So, you see, the, the we're just going to set it up the same way we've been setting it up. And um, the snap read, what I mean by that is this right here. If you want to snap and hit him right there, you see that's a nice viable option against most zones. The flat routes won't get out there because of the post route. So, if they're, if they're not in cover two, uh, what the... With the light blues out there in a cover two, they're not going to be able to stop that. Same play, and now we're going to show you the late read. So I go triangle square, nothing, 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 and then I check back down a circle. It's going to get underneath every zone of the game. They have to put man coverage over there if they want to stop that. And even if they put man over there, you can pass it open. So the beauty of the, the slot post is also its ability to beat the cover two seat. Cover 2 Sync is, is a defense that gives most plays in uh, NCAA and Madden a lot of trouble. And you're going to see here that we can still beat Cover 2 Sync. First of all, we have our drag, which we already know that's going to be Cover 2 Sync. A nice little check down there. Next read we have on this play, and, and I love the fact about this play, is the fact that these, these reads are the same every time. Like, it's always the same read. Every single time. Actually, I'm going to out of this play. 
So let me get back to the slot post. The audible system is kind of weird this year. You guys are going to need to be used to it. Uh, it's no longer X, or it's no longer square square or XX on Xbox. It is, um, you don't have to do, you don't, you only do it once and then you bring up both menus. So here against cover to sync, our second read is going to be even better. You see the user catch option in there. We have that. It's not, it's not as good, but it, hold, it what it does is it pulls traffic to that route and it's going to open up the uh, slot post route. So we'll just come out and cover the sink here. Show you the rest of these reads and then we'll get out of here. So you see, uh, now we're going to run it. Third read is going to be this, this slot post. And again, you can split the, put, split the middle linebacker uh, right in that little region there. That time he just made a great play on the ball. And then our, our, um, our fourth read is going to be the the middle the middle back, the, the running back on the streak. When we place him on a streak, you're going to see how the how the post affects the yellows so that the streak can fit in behind it. So here, you see, pass it to the inside, and voila, you got a nice little underneath route that's going to actually gain you about 15 yards total. And then the last read on this play is, once again, the route to circle and its ability to be man and zone. It's still going to hold true and come to sync. You're going to see it. Oh, that was a nasty block shed by that guy. Did he even get... Oh, he didn't even get blocked. That's kind of frustrating. I saw, I've seen that a little bit this game. Uh, hopefully they patch that up because that's, that's definitely ridiculous. You may need to just mix up... It might be something as simple as mix, mixing up your cadence, so I don't know if that has anything to, to do with the game mission. We'll see. But anyway, see here, circle. Step up into the pocket here a little bit. Circle is going to still get underneath those zones. A nice check down read. So, that does it for today's breakdown. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gun type breakdown uh, in NCAA 14. Make sure to check for other videos. Uh, as far as uh, I'm going to be doing a back to basic series for NCAA 14. We'll recover a bunch, tight, um, tray open, or some nice blitzing, blitz beating formations, as well as a nice three header rushing attack. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. Make sure to check out how to stop the read option at the top right. Uh, we're, we just got that video up today. I've actually been trying to get that video up for two or three days, but uh, we have some nice concepts for slowing down the read option this year. Also, be sure to check out the uh, the full Oregon Ducks offensive scheme uh, on the top left here. Uh, that was a really good scheme. We, we really got deep. We didn't get, we didn't, we, we kind of just scratched the surface to be honest. Uh, but with the stuff that we gave out in that, you're going to dominate offensively. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos and strategies. Other than that, guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.